This whole video, I feel like, is about to just be an ad for ADHD awareness. Here's the thing, sometimes ADHD is really helpful to get things done if you are really interested in doing them. Other times, you put something off to the very last minute because you know that you perform better under pressure and now you're in this situation. And what is the situation? Going to Italy for one of my best friend's weddings. I've been meaning to clean out my garage for like three plus years. It's gotten to the point to where now I actually need to use my garage to put my car in it because street cleaning exists and I generally have terrible luck when it comes to that. So, in order to not get fined out the wazoo, I'm going to clean my garage, which looks like... I've tried a little bit. I've pre-tried. Got some walking space. So all I need to do now is take care of this. What I think I'm gonna do is push everything back and whatever's trash, I'm gonna actually throw it away. If there's space in the trash cans that I forgot to leave out last week. Okay, I feel like I am good at quite a bit of things, but none of the ones that actually help me and my adult life and make it easier to live. Why my brain works like this, I don't know. But I really wish I could patch these neurons in for something that actually helps. Of course, we're not wearing a shirt under this. I didn't even begin and I already want to stop. Honestly, will the car even fit if I clean this? Is a question that we should all be asking ourselves. Okay, I thought this was gonna be a cute, easy task. Why? Great question. Other option is just never come back from Italy. Problem doesn't exist if you can't see it. This whole video, I feel like, is about to just be an ad for ADHD awareness. Remember when I bought this in Vegas and then I brought it into my hotel room and then I left the pedal so that I could never play this again? That was cute! And now it's trash! Okay! The thing about it is that I don't want to. But, okay. Three, two, one, we are clean! I honestly can't believe it. <laughs> it turns around, it's a mess. I think we have enough space to park in. Let's give it a go. Oh my god. It doesn't fit! Mission complete, I dropped everything off at Goodwill and I can finally park my car in the garage. One other thing that I love to do before going on a long trip is use up everything that I have in my fridge. It was also just a full blue super moon, super blue full moon. I'm gonna do a simmer pot. I found this on TikTok and apparently it is supposed to help the vibes be good. Moon water labeled, and I'm gonna make a little simmer pot with everything that I have. This is one way to get rid of the things I don't need anymore or that are about to expire, and another way to bring in the abundance. Rosemary, moon water, a lemon, and cinnamon is supposed to be good for abundance. Yes, hocus pocus time already. Moon water, is it gonna do anything? Who knows, this is my first time making it. It's gonna be rosemary heavy. It's gonna be all rosemary. Okay, it's rosemary water. Lemon for, I'll look it up later. Half of it is intention and half of it is smelling good. Cinnamon, bring in the money, honey. Oh, I gotta blow this through my door. I have so many things to do today. All of this I learned from TikTok and I barely retain any of it. So, no, I'm not gonna double check, but I am gonna do all of it in hopes that I have a really good month. Come to mama. My neighbors. What do they think? First things first, we crushed it. I feel incredibly successful with a little addendum at the bottom because the cat litter is all the way in the back. So now I've created an obstacle course for myself to retrieve the litter. And how are we gonna do this? Should we move the thing that's really large and heavy or should we climb on top of it? Oh, I don't know about this. There's a lot of things I don't know about. The only way to find out is to fuck around a little bit. Who's the cat now? I haven't decided this is a bad idea yet. Wow. Okay, now let's go to Italy. Starting with the sexiest outdoor shower because I think this is the most important. This was the villa the bridal party stayed in. A decaf and a pool I didn't get in. This is getting ready for the wedding which really just looked a lot like this. They had a mozzarella bar at the wedding. That was probably the coolest thing. And of course, the entire thing just looked like it was straight out of Pinterest. 
And in my TikTok search, I had found this flea market. It was a little overwhelming. I didn't get a single thing because anything that I wanted to get was a home decor item or something that I could not fit in a carry-on luggage. And then we had a four hour layover in Amsterdam. So we decided to jet over to this picturesque lunch spot. And as much as I love pasta, it was so nice to eat a cheeseburger and fries. And to have a soft landing for jet lag, I stopped over in New York. My friend JP was playing because his album just came out and he sounds like this. I know you know. I'm dealing with so much jet lag. I woke up at 5 a.m. today and yesterday. And I'm excited for today because I am going to a new project to take measurements so that I can make 3D model for something really, really cool. I wanna be awake and alert as I was overseas. I saw this TikTok that was like, my mom was a model in the 90s and every morning she ice bathed her face and she looks like this and like her mom looked like she was 20. I've already tried it once. One of the bridesmaids had her face roller. Oh, speaking of which, I also have a little ice face roller. This is like foreplay for the ice bath. People love a cold plunge. I don't want to do it. Unless you pay me, I'm not gonna get inside. I know it's better for me. I know it helps with the depression, but that's why I have Prozac. So, how about this lasagna dish? I am very easily influenced, especially when it has to do anything with face, skin, makeup, beauty, fashion. Just all of it. So yeah, I'm gonna try almost everything I ever see. This may have been too much ice, it's giving Titanic. You're supposed to cold plunge for three minutes. Let me see if I can find the TikTok. Just like can't make any decisions for myself, have to consult the SEO. I started doing this because I was sad and had seen that it can help regulate your nervous system, but now it's something that I'm doing every day because it just makes me feel better. People seem to do it in 20 second increments. Literally, this is why I have to live alone. Every morning, this. Good luck, my future husband. Three, two, one. <gasps> yes, placenta. <laughs> oh my god. 20 seconds, let's go. Yes! <sighs> I feel like maybe the rest of my body is overcompensating for how cold that is because I think I'm sweating in every pore, chin down. I also got influenced by something else and it was kind of a necessity to have to get because I left my air dry brush thing also in Italy. So I had to get a new hair dryer. I didn't want to spend money on a Dyson. I got the Shark Flex style. It's basically the same thing. A lot of people say they like it more. I also got a storage case, which is something that I never usually would have done. I notice as I get older, I really want to take care of my stuff better, especially because I'm intentionally buying. There's also a pride that I get when I take better care of my things. They feel better. That's why my closet, the way that I set my closet up is like a store because it feels better when I get dressed in the morning. Okay, love Loving the color, hating that it already has a mark on it. Oh, is this a return? Can't trust anything on the internet these days. Shake! Not loving the star, and I'm also kind of bored now. It's giving George Washington. Yikes! Exhausted. I look like those pictures of Kim Kardashian in the farm. At least the ponytail will probably look cute. When in doubt, ponytail it out. As long as the bangs are fine, no! It's gonna be a clip now. From a ponytail to a clip. Oh my god, am I gonna wear a hat? Kind of thinking I should have just stayed in Italy. Welcome back to Los Angeles. I was awake the whole time. The day I get back is the day I get a ticket. We're gonna go to my favorite place anytime I need like a pick me up in the morning or if I know that I wanna have a really productive day. But it is a thing that I get and it never fails. Here it is. Phil's coffee, mint mojito, iced, sweet and creamy, and obviously decaf. I'm still recovering from that cold brew in 2012. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. Do we have time to spend a little bit more money? Not that I want to, it's that I need to. I left LA and it was summertime. I came back and it's fall. My summertime scent is Juliet has a gun. I used it all and I think my fall scent is gonna be noir. Aside from the parking ticket, this morning is going phenomenally because I got exactly what I wanted and it took no time. And the way I know that I love this is that I sprayed a sample scent on my wrists. As I was walking back to my car, I would get these intermittent sniffs of myself and I was like, Mm, hot. 
When you turn yourself on, pheromone wise, that's when you know you picked the right scent. Okay, but this is the coolest part. This is my nickname in high school, Tunes. And I just feel like I relate much more to a Tunes in this era of my life. So this is a little gift to my inner teenager, which I am currently healing right now. It's small, it's a little expensive, but a little goes a long way. Mmm! Smells like I didn't get a parking ticket. All right, now let's go be a designer and make the money that I just spent. <laughs> Have a great day with the rest of your day, and I will talk to you the next time I do. Bye! I'm making my